Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flytech. Today I will show you how you can build your weather radar panel for your Boeing 737 pedestal. After the demasking of the bottom and middle plate, you will need a 12 position rotary switch limited to 4 positions. Then the two 10k potentiometers are installed. The three layers are fixed together with screws and 15mm hex standoffs. The panel is assembled and before I will install it into the pedestal box I will make the configuration and test if everything is working. The 12 position rotary switch here can be handled as four single buttons. I have shown the configuration of buttons before and if you want to know more about the basic configuration in Mobi Flight, you can watch my dedicated video about this where I'm going into detail of every step here. But one thing I haven't shown until now is the configuration of potentiometers. I have used these uh, devices before, but only for dimming the backlighting of the overhead panel. Now, for the first time, these items uh, will have a function for a panel. There is also another way how to simulate those uh, rotating uh, switches and this can be done by using a joystick axis. I have shown this on the overhead panel uh, where I have configured an Arduino Pro Micro and then potentiometers connected to this Arduino can be handled as a joystick of uh, your system. These joysticks can be used by uh, every program that can handle a joystick. Yes, the only thing that you should keep in mind is that the configuration is a little bit different than just here in Mobi Flight. You have to configure and calibrate it under your uh, system like Windows. But now Mobi Flight is able to handle potentiometers and I want to take the chance to uh, keep more configurations here in one place. So what I will show here as an example is the configuration of the gain potentiometer here. Let's have a look into my uh, connection sheet. Down here we can see uh, I have given the number K01 for um, this gain potentiometer. Weather radar gain, this is a name that Prosim has given to it. And I will use a full offset to uh, transmit the values via the FSUIPC. The offset I will use is an 8-bit unsigned offset 531D. And it will be connected to the analog uh, pin 14 of the Arduino Mega. And this is important that you connect analog devices like potentiometers to the analog pins of your Arduino. So when you want to declare a potentiometer, then you can do this here under Extras and Settings. And then via the tab Mobiflight Modules. And you can see 
the only Arduino I have connected here is my Arduino K. That is the Arduino I'm using now for the upcoming panels. And here you can see I have already declared K01 and O2. When you want to add a new device, then you can do this here under Add Device and you will choose the analog input. And then you will come out with such a dialog where you can choose the analog pin you want to use here in my case the A14 and you can adjust the sensitivity here in case you have any problems uh, when you are testing it. And now we're making the configuration and this time we're using a feature of MobiFlight which is called a variable. You will see this in a second here. So I will call this configuration K01 and under input I choose my module which is my Arduino K and the device will be the K01 which is the potentiometer of the gain. Under input settings there are not many options here. On change I can choose which action type I want to use and in this case this is the MobiFlight variable. So I will take the value and save it under a variable of a name that I will declare now and I will use the name K01. For the value I will use the input value here of um, the device and so I will insert an add sign. And this is all we have to do here on the input side and now we can already test if this is working. I will activate the debug mode here under settings and enable the locking with a lock level of debug. And when I now turn the potentiometer then you can see we have already values coming in here. So the lowest value here I see is the 16, uh, 14, 13. It's not always the, the same here, but yeah, but you can, I think here you can see this. The 13 is the lowest value I can reach here with this uh, potentiometer, and the highest one turn this full to the right one thousand twenty three uh, here we have twenty one twenty one again yes I will choose the one thousand twenty one so lowest value of thirteen highest value one thousand twenty one keep this in mind now we switch over to the output tab and also here we will do a configuration so which we will call k01 there it is and we go into the configuration here and choose the mobiflight variable the type is a number and the name of the variable can be chosen here from the drop down box. And there we will find the K01 name that we have declared before. On the display tab, we'll choose um, the display type as an input action because we want to make an input here um, yeah, to, to ProSim. And we can now choose uh, which input action uh, we want to have here the on press on release which uh, would be the action the typical action of a button or the on change um, type and we will use the on change type because every time we change the value of the potentiometer we want to uh, do something in the simulator and on change we'll now um, use an action type which will be an FSU IPC offset. So every time the potentiometer value changes it fires out an FSU IPC 
offset command. And we will use the offset we have uh, written down in our connection sheet before, 531D. The size is one byte, we will use a full byte. So all bits are um, checked here. And the value we will set will be the input value of uh, the variable here. And we will use the add sign and say, okay. So now we could already do testing if there wouldn't be a problem that you always should keep in mind when you are trying to um, transmit values via an offset. I have running prepared in the background and when I click on run here, MobiFlight should run and keep running, but you can see it goes off again. And down here we receive an error message. The value was either too large or too small for an unsigned byte. So what is the problem? You remember we are trying to transmit the values of 13 up to 1022 via this FSURPC offset of only one byte. When we are using an offset of one byte, we can transmit values from zero up to 255. So the value is too big for this offset. And this we can change here in the compare tab. So when I check here, apply interpolation, then I can declare my input values, which will be from 13 up to 1022. And these values should be interpolated uh, to values of zero up to 255. And now we can click run and it stays running. And you can now compare here these two values, the flight sim value and the output value. Or you can See, when I turn this full to the right, I have a 1021 value, which will be yeah, changed to a 255 value that fits into my one byte offset. But beside of this mathematics, you can see up in the uh, ProSim displays window, the gain value is moving like the one here on the real panel. So this is working. The same configuration can now be done uh, with the tilt potentiometer and then the panel can be installed into the panel still box. The panel is on its final place and already usable. And again, an easy to build panel. And this could be also a good choice for your first panel when you are starting building your own panels and you want to make some experiences here. And those of you who are following my channel and especially my live streams uh, could be there live when I have designed uh, this nub here. So you have now seen the full construction process of this panel here. Like always, you will find a complete set of files to cut out and engrave your own panel at home as well as the 3D print files for the knobs here in the download section of my website. So I have to go on. There are still some open areas here in the pedestal. And if you don't want to miss this upcoming episode, then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.